Hey, what is going on guys? Before this video starts, I would just like to say a link is in the description below to my League Real Life Esports, the Discord server for it. Next week, we're holding 55 laps of Bathurst and V8 supercars. I highly recommend you all join up if you're interested and register. Yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. Let's get right into the video. Hey, what is going on, guys? Today I am sharing with you a fantastic car mod for Assetto Corsa. And for me, this is kind of like what I think and wish the brand new Le Mans hypercar class could have been for the real life WEC series, obviously. This is the 2020 Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro Edition. The Aston Martin Valkyrie was Aston Martin's road-going Le Mans hypercar, because how the rules were supposed to be, at least, was that you had to have a road-legal version for your Le Mans hypercar, so Toyota and these original rules would have had to make a street-legal GR010, um, and then you would obviously have the one that you race with. But, of course... You know, manufacturers didn't really like that, so they kind of just dropped that and said, you can if you want, and shout out to Glykenhaus for doing that. Such a small little group, and they're doing it. And then the big Toyota isn't, but regardless, AMR was going to do that as well until the project was obviously scrapped going into 2020 because, of course, Daddy Stroll bought Aston Martin and decided to bring them into F1 instead. Now, this car isn't actually the official Le Mans hypercar, but it is very close and is on a very similar pace to one. It has three tire sets. It has road-going tires, and then it has slicks as well. If you want real-life hypercar times, you're actually going to want to use the street-legal tires because with the slicks, this thing is like... 15 seconds faster than the gr 10 But on slicks even, you know, the whole point of the hypercar was to make speed cheaper, to make the top class cheaper, but like, it is just really cool seeing a car like this and how fast these type of cars could be if WEC, the FIA, and teams were interested in spending that much money to get there. But anyway, enough backstory, let's get on to the car. It has 1115 brake horsepower, weighs exactly 1,000 kilograms, and it is just an absolute downforce monster. As well, you're probably seeing a very cool and very interesting looking WEC skin. This is my own custom skin, the number two and the number three. Originally, I wanted it to be the 007 and the 008, but the two double O's, double zeros, couldn't fit on the thing to my liking. And having just seven and eight, obviously the GR010 is using that. So we just went with two and three. Really nice custom fonts. Obviously, WEC is allowing custom numbers this year. And yeah, just real life sponsors, total. Tag Heuer, you know, obviously you have Michelin and things like that on here as well because of just, that's WEC. But yeah, super nice, clean looking skin. You can find this in the link in the description below as well as the car download link. Um, the skin is on my race department page. So yeah, drop five stars on there. Help bring this skin up the algorithm, I guess, on race department so more people can see it and download this car. And if you are coming from my race department page, hello, welcome. I make, you know, videos every three days right now, but eventually I'll be going back to every other day on Assetto Corsa mods and kind of just everything sim racing. So yeah, get subscribed. But beyond that shameless plug, let's give you an onboard or a bit of an onboard lap of Le Mans so you can see and hear this absolute monster go around the track.
So yeah, there you guys go. This thing's an absolute beast. And that's all I really have for you guys to say, to be honest. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, a like and a sub would mean a lot. We are well on our way to 500 subs, halfway to the big 1K. So thank you guys so much for the support. And yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.